Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if Windows File Explorer is not starting or opening up properly at startup. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All you have to do is open up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, you'll come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you would have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is done, we are ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the H key local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. So double click on that. Double click on Microsoft. Same thing now for Windows NT. So you might need to scroll down a little bit here. And you want to double click on Windows NT. Current version, double click on it. And now there should be a Win Logon folder in here. So now that we have selected Win Logon, on the right side you want to locate a value that says Shell. Go ahead and double click on that. You want to make sure the value data is set to explorer.exe. Again, explorer.exe, exactly how you see it on my screen. And then you will select OK. Once that is done, we're going to go ahead and actually close out of the registry editor here. And open up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match. We'll come back with command prompt. Right click on it. Select run as administrator. And then select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. Type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Once that is finished, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.